I mean, we've already seen hundreds of local restaurants close that will never reopen. Um, and we, you know, you see on social media every day, another restaurant saying goodbye. It was very casual, uh, very happy place. I would say a lot of bright colors and simple food using uh, good uh, uh, ingredients. In good times and bad times, people are going to go for a scoop of ice cream. So, you know, we thought we were kind of insulated from any real big downturn, but a pandemic hits and then you're forced to close your retail shops. And then the traffic, the foot traffic that is outside of all, all of our retail shops drops precipitously, probably 75, 80, 90 percent, you know, for a few months. Nobody was prepared for that. Closing each individual restaurant was its own sort of moment of devastation or months of, de of devastation. There was a lot of there was a lot of limbo in there. Can we make this work? Can we um, can we recover from this? And then there were moments of realization that we had to come to, um, and we had to remove that sort of personal attachment um, and remove the emotion from our decisions and think as business people, and really come to the conclusion that that we had to cut our losses and. Yes, that's a very professional decision that you have to make, but there are so many emotions that are attached to that. I mean, after this whole thing of the pandemic started, um, that restaurant really didn't make any sense to keep it open because we were not going to be able to keep it open or to, to make it work. Catering that we had already scheduled for the summertime. Um, and yeah, but just by being, I mean, it was just too much financially for us to like, uh, to keep it alive. It's a hard decision to make because you put a lot of effort and a lot of time into building these ice cream shops and people knew us from those ice cream shops from the corner on Houston that we were on. 